Hello crafters, this is Gareth from Juice Creations and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do a wreath, a napkin wreath, but a napkin wreath with a difference. I've got this big bag of elastic bands and I brought these beautiful napkins from Ikea. Now they are 30 napkins in this pack and they are absolutely beautiful. I really, really like the design of these um, napkins and they're a nice big size. They're, what are they, 15 by 15? Um, I'm going to use them, let me get it folded back right away, I am going to use them like that and I have decided I want to give um, a, different, a different twist to a traditional um, napkin wreath. So I'm going to pop them round like that and then I'm going to secure them on the wreath using an elastic band so that means there's no hot glue you can use these um the nap you can use the napkins on another project if you wanted to so i'm going to pocket them out like that i'm going to sp splay them out well, what i'm going to do is for e i'm going to overlay them as well and what i'm trying to do is you see the the um line here I am trying to get that so it's on the back in the middle. So overlay them and what I was thinking of doing is either having them all at the top or I was thinking of having them in different places but I think I'll have them all at the top. I think I prefer that. Or I could scoot them round so they're up there. Okay let's try that. Let's try that crafter. So what you need then is that line, that crease. I need that to be on the inside here. Making sure that they're level. Gathering them together at the top. Elastic band. Using the elastic band to secure them. Oh, don't break the elastic band, Gareth. <laughs> Again, using the elastic band to secure them, but not overly too tight, otherwise the elastic bands break. It's kind of, it's kind of like a, a bandana wreath without them being bandanas. These napkins have a kind of autumnal feel to them. Oh, I keep breaking these elastic bands. These elastic bands from the pound shop aren't particularly good or strong. So, um, oh, look, see, another one gone. These ones from the pound shop I don't recommend from Poundland. They're a bit, bit, uh, they're not, I'm not sure if I want them like that or like that. Or maybe different. Things in it. Oh gosh, these elastic bands are awful. Look at that. Matter of just not even stretching them that much and they're breaking. Look. Yeah, these elastic bands aren't very good crafters. I wouldn't recommend anyone buy these um, from Poundland. They're not, they're not overly economical. Right, I'm just gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a ton on. And then I'm just going to have a play around with um, where I want to, where I want things to be. I'm not too sure yet. So I'm going to continue on off camera and then I'll come back when I've decided whether I want these to be up, down, inside, outside, but I'll see you shortly. Okay, crafters, last few. What I'm doing is I'm taking it over to this to a space where there's no napkins, 
and then I'm drawing them in and I'm using these awful elastic bands from Poundland. I mean some of you may not want the elastic bands to show it. Oh gosh there goes another one. Some of you may not want the elastic bands to show. You may want to use ribbon um, or maybe some clear elastic bands if you can get hold of clear ones. Um, I'm not too bothered because I'm going to fan these out so they'll, they resemble flowers anyway. Um, but just uh, adapt it to what suits you. Um, so obviously if, not, we don't all have the same taste. But there's so many lovely napkins out there from all over the place. Ikea, your pound stores, your, your dollar stores. You can probably do this, this particular design um, using, you know, for, for each season. I think one more or maybe two more and then I will be done. So I'm alternating the pattern slightly as hopefully that can show up on that shows up on the screen. This has a very African vibe to it I think. Um, we're doing um, we have an arts week in the school I teach in, I support in and um, oh gosh another one right it's the dust and every year we have a an arts week um oh god there's another one oh boy let's try again and this year it's um the theme is africa the continent of africa and uh this definitely has a these napkins definitely have an african kind of vibe to them at least that's what i see in them anyway and one more. And then with these here, I'm going to sp spray them out so they're kind of flower-like. So each, because they've, because I've uh, left them quite thick, I can afford to splay them out, and that then gives it some shape and definition, and also hides the um, the, uh, the elastic band somewhat. So I'm just splaying them out so they're like flowers almost. I don't know how well that's showing, translating onto camera. Um, if I rip a few, I'm not going to worry. I'm really not going to stress. It really isn't worth stressing about that type of thing. They're, they're paper, they're going to tear. It's a temporary wreath. Um, as it's a paper wreath, I wouldn't recommend that you put it outside. I would recommend that you leave it either in a, in a covered porch or um, on the inside your home. Okay, now I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate it. I was thinking of using some flowers and maybe some seashells, some seashells, some starfish. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces here. These um, hydrangeas are from the pound store, as are these white ones, and these faux tulips I've got online. Um, maybe just the hydrangea heads at the bottom here intermixed with some starfish maybe I could dissect this maybe I could dissect this um, hydrangea because there's all these different heads here let me give that a try let me see if that works if it doesn't work then it's no biggie the hydrangea pick was only a pound I'm sure I could use these elsewhere so if it doesn't work, I'm not going to stress. I'll just put these in my stash and use them elsewhere. But let's see if this works. So I've got all these hydrangea clusters. And then I could put in a starfish. But um, I've got quite a few starfish that I can use. And then just have some hydrangeas poking behind. 
poking out from behind the starfish. Let me have a look. Or do I want to just keep it as it is? Or do I just want to add the starfish? I really like these hydrangeas. Maybe just a, a single hydrangea stem behind each starfish. Hmm, that's quite simple. I quite like that. Hmm. I've also got these white ones. Maybe put those up the side. I have the hydrangea leaves from the pink. So maybe a starfish and a few hydrangeas and the leaf. Oh, I quite like that. Okay, let me get my hot glue gun on. Okay, guys, bosses. my hot glue gun is heating up. I've decided I want to use the hydrangeas and the hydrangea leaf and one of the um, the starfish. So this this uh, this particular wreath could really transition from summer to uh, autumn because I think it has elements of both the seasons. Yeah. And some of the colours on the uh, on the napkins are very autumnal. And then obviously you've got the flowers and the uh, the flowers and the um, starfish for uh, summer. So this really could translate into a, a coastal autumnal wreath. Or if you've got like a, if you have like a nautical theme running through your home throughout the season, this would be great for, um, to showcase throughout the year. I think this is one of my favorite wreaths I've ever made, if I'm, if I'm honest. I really like the, the uh, simplicity and, and the concept of the napkins. And I can take off these um, elements and reuse them at a later date because it's just hot glue. I have to say I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I didn't really have um, kind of image of exactly what I wanted in my head it's just evolved in front of your eyes as it the ideas came to my head so I'm going to continue to spray these ends of the napkins out so they resemble flowers and then I will hang it up in my home and there'll be some pictures either some pictures or there'll be some uh, a small video of it hanging up on display at the end but I'm really happy with the way that turned out very simple but really eye-catching thank you very much for joining me today crafters and I will see you again very soon take care now bye bye